By now, most of us are somewhat familiar with Bluetooth technology, which allows devices like cell phones to communicate with a wireless earpiece. What if I told you that this technology may soon help to improve health care for millions of people worldwide? New uses of short-range radio frequency communications may soon allow medical products like blood pressure cuffs, weight scales, and cholesterol monitors to communicate with your computer, mobile phone, or PDA and send your doctor personal health information quickly. With this type of technology holding such promise for the future of healthcare, the Bluetooth Special Interest Group created a medical devices working group with some of the top tech and medical companies in order to expand the use of this wireless technology within health and medical devices. The rise of chronic conditions and the, the increase in the aging population worldwide, uh, there's an urgent need to address healthcare. And we believe that through the use of this technology, uh, and these, these Bluetooth devices will be able to uh, help reduce uh, the cost of health care, uh, to bring health care into the home and connect the patient with the provider. Health devices like these have the potential to help detect medical problems early and potentially save millions of dollars in costly hospital visits. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Not only can this help prevent unnecessary trips to the doctor's office, but through early detection, of a change of condition, it can result in savings in your medical bills as well. This technology could have applications in managing chronic disease or reminding people to take their medications by alerting caregivers if vital signs change or if scheduled medicines aren't taken. Patients could receive critical medical help before any complications arise. Those of us who are striving to improve our personal health through diet and exercise could benefit as well by wirelessly monitoring weight, heart rate, or tracking our exercise. Devices based on the efforts of the newly formed workgroup, are expected to hit the market in 2007. This is Dean Scott reporting.